In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make easy money on eBay using the inventory sourcing method of retail arbitrage. But before we get into it, an important question we need to answer first is, what is retail arbitrage? Well, basically it's an e-commerce business model centered around buying inventory at a discount from offline and online retailers, then reselling it online for a profit. Basically, it's like going into a Nike store, buying a pair of shoes, and then selling it on eBay for a profit. I personally don't believe this is a viable business model to focus on solely as a reseller. However, when incorporated into your business every now and again, it can certainly assist with increasing your sales. So guys, I've just got back from two hours of shopping at the Harbour Town Factory Outlet Centre. They've got upwards of 70% off at these outlets and they've got all the major brands, Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren, Nike, Asics, Under Armour, you name it, it is there and it is a great place to try and source some really great items. And that is the first step, guys. You've really got to know where to go to make sure that you can get these heavily reduced items. Factory outlets are fantastic. Maybe even your local shopping centers when they do a big markdown sale. End of financial year is a great time to be outsourcing for new inventory and also the Boxing Day sales come Christmas and the New Year period. So there are certainly times of the year that are better than others, but if you do have an outlet factory like I do with all these big major brands, you can pretty much go any time of year and know that you're pretty much in for a good discount at some point. So I've done that today. I spent two hours scanning every single barcode in all of these major stores to try and find some discount. And as you can see, we've come away with some potential profit. So we're gonna dive into that today, but step number one is find the right retail stores to get your discounts from. Success in the game of retail arbitrage always comes down to the numbers. If you know your numbers before you go into the store, you're always gonna stand a better chance of coming out with a win. So the first thing that I'd like to do is set a profit expectation. Now we're doing shoes today, and my profit when it comes to shoes is always $30. So I know that I'm going in looking to try and get an end result of $30 in my pocket for every single pair that I purchase. The second thing that I always consider is I need to find items that are between 60 to 70% off at a minimum. You need that heavy reduction off the retail price to be able to generally find that profit that you're looking for. So when I go into a store, the first thing that I'm looking for is those highly priced reduced items, 60 to 70% off. And then I pull out the e-profit calculator, just an app on my phone, and I crunch all the numbers to remove the postage and, and all the eBay fees to make sure that there's a $30 profit left over. So the first store that we went into today was the Adidas store, and I put those two key steps into practice. All right, to set the scene, guys, we were in a 40% off already reduced markdown sale. So we're talking the 60 to 70% off here for all of these shoes. So a really great opportunity. The first pair that I saw was a pair of football boots. These were $150, marked down to 30. Take an extra 40% off. We're talking $18 for a pair of brand new shoes, but there weren't too many solds on eBay for those. These Adidas NMD R1s, 40% off down to $42. I did a quick scan of these and I saw that there were a number of comps selling for about $100. Now, if that's gonna be the case, purchasing them for 42 with the e-profit calculator, this was gonna be a $30 profit and definitely something of interest. The next one was these Damien Lillard basketball shoes. While they were in great condition and a number of sold comps on eBay, it was only a 30% off price point. So unfortunately, I couldn't play around with that one. There was just simply not enough margin. So I quickly put those ones back onto the shelf. I thought the football boots were a really good category to play in. I'm, I'm always making some really good money when we're looking at them in used condition. And while I did scan the store for running shoes, for casual shoes, men's and women's, I always found myself scanning the football boots because they just seemed to be the most profitable. These were no doubt about it, the absolute best of the bunch. These were a pair of $280 top of the range Predators. These were the 20.0 FGs and they had a $55 price tag with a further 40% off. These were $33 for a pair of $280 footy boots. So I had to grab them. All right, this was the damage that I was able to do in the Adidas store today. I was able to get the Predator 20.1s. These are the Matadors, $280 retail. I was able to get my hands on these for $33 in brand new condition. So comps on eBay, anywhere between $100 to $200. So I'm gonna put the e-profit calculator up here right now for it's selling for $100 free postage. That is gonna net me a $42 profit for these footy boots. And there were a number of sales anywhere between that one to $200 price point. So I'm confident they are gonna go on to sell. I've got two pairs of those shoes here and I was able to get them both in a size 12 and a half which is a really good uh, size to be getting as well. So potentially $84 worth of profit in those two football boots, conservatively speaking at $100. 
These were the other ones as well. These were the Adidas NMDR ones. Now, I buy a lot of these in used condition in the thrift. So I bought them for $42, a little bit more than the footy boots, but they go on to sell for 100 bucks. So if I get them sold for 100 free postage in brand new condition, they're going to net me my $30 profit. So ultimately, guys, these two pairs of shoes were purchased because they ticked my two boxes. They were 60 to 70% off its retail price point, and I was able to make at least a $30 profit. The footy boots, hopefully, are going to be a whole lot more than that. The third step in the process is to source what actually goes on to sell. And what I mean by that is making sure you have your eBay sold comp search with you before you go ahead and purchase the shoes. I went into the Nike factory outlet and that's where we're gonna to go to next with some footage. But I bought these two pairs of shoes and as you'll see in a second, it was due to the fact that they go on to sell heavily. Of all the Nike shoes out there, these ones sell very well. So I was happy to commit to a slightly higher purchase because of the sell through rate. And it's an incredibly crucial step. You've got to make sure it sells before you go ahead and buy. So much like the Adidas store that we were just in, the Nike store also had a reduced price plus the additional 40% off. So I could pretty much pick any single shoe in this store and I was gonna get my 60 to 70% off. The key here was sell through rate. I needed to make sure that the shoes that I was purchasing were actually selling on eBay. This is what I came up with. These are the Air Max 270 Reacts, a very, very popular shoe on eBay. As you can see here, there are a lot of sold comp searches, so I knew I could go with confidence on these ones. $120 was the price, minus another 40%. These were a $72 pair of shoes, originally priced at $230. So even at $72, a whole lot more than what I was paying in the Adidas store, I knew that if these shoes sold per the comps on eBay between $150 and $250, I was going to be definitely getting at least my $30 profit. So I did pick up a US size 10 pair of US... Uh, uh, Air Max Reacts, and uh, I did grab a second pair of shoes as well. So these were the other ones that I bought as well. These were the Air Max 2017s. Now I've actually spent $90 on these. They're $230 shoes. I've ended up paying $90 for them. And the comps on eBay were excellent, and there were a ton of them for the Air Max 2017. So even in this colorway, there were shoes going for $200 in brand new condition. I'm gonna conservatively put the e-profit calculator up for $160 on these, and I'm still gonna make a $37 profit. So regardless of what they sell for, and I know there are a lot of sold comps up there, so they will move, I'm gonna at least get 37 bucks for these at 160. The other one was the one that I went through in that little clip there. These are the Nike Reacts. Um, so these ones here are $150 I should be able to sell them for. I only paid uh, the uh, $72 for these, so it should get me a profit of about $46 to $47. So about an $82 profit turnaround on those two pairs of shoes, but a whole lot more confidence in getting them sold quicker than the Adidas shoes, simply because of the sell-through rate was really, really strong for these two pairs of Nikes. So a crucial step, guys, when you're sourcing shoes, make sure you get the ones that actually go on to sell. There's two steps when it comes to listing your items strategically. And look, if you think about it, anyone can go and buy these shoes at a reduced price and try and sell them online for a profit. So the competition is really quite high. You've got to stand out above the pack. And the way I like to stand out above the pack is to do a markdown promotion. So these shoes are $230 retail. I'll list these for $230 retail. And then I'll immediately put a markdown promotion to say that you can buy them right now for $150. I've also got the free postage entitlement, which is always an attractive look. But ultimately that really makes the buyer think that there's a real deal going on here and they should be buying my shoes for $150. That beats out the competitors that are just simply listing them up for 150 bucks. So I'm always doing that when I'm doing retail arbitrage. And the other one as well, if all else fails, I've got a Facebook Marketplace listing for these shoes as well. And I can always do them for a slightly less of a cost because there's no postage and there's no fees when it comes to Facebook Marketplace here in Australia. So for these shoes, I'll be marking them up for 100 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. That would get me a $28 profit. If they sold for 150 bucks on eBay, I'd be getting a $37 profit. So for the sake of $9, I can drop the price by 50 bucks. So you've always got that up the back of your sleeve. I'm always cross-listing on Marketplace and doing the markdown promotion. List strategically and beat the pack. So over the next few weeks, as these shoes go on to sell, I'll be bringing you all of that information in my Sunday What Sold episode. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right now as I bring you that information over the next few weeks. And if you're interested in selling used shoes on eBay, that's something that I do pretty heavily as well. And I've done a video about how to exactly do that, buying shoes out of the thrift. So I'm going to leave that one here for you guys to check out now. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. We'll see you in the next.